The much-anticipated meeting between the top diplomats from Seoul, Washington and Tokyo took place on Friday in Thailand on the sidelines of the ASEAN Regional Forum. There, the U.S. reportedly tried to swing a deal to defuse heightening trade tensions between South Korea and Japan. Our EG1 Falsus report from Bangkok. The U.S. was reportedly working until the last minute to mediate between Seoul and Tokyo over Japan's decision to take South Korea off its white list of favored trading partners. This is according to a senior South Korean official who spoke on the overall results of Minister Kang kyung hwas multilateral and bilateral talks on the sidelines of the ASEAN Regional Forum to reporters on Friday. The official said until the night before Japan's decision, the U.S. officials were closely communicating with South Korean and Japanese officials to relay each other's stances and find a solution. Seoul's Foreign Minister Kang kyung had previously said the U.S. expressed concerns over the dispute at a trilateral meeting with Japan. There, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo had apparently urged the two sides to talk in order to solve the issue while offering to play a contributing role if needed be. While confusion emerged as Japanese officials denied that Pompeo expressed such concerns, the South Korean officials said it would have been out of the ordinary for the U.S. not to have done so in a situation like this. When asked what Minister Taro Kono said in reference to Japan's rejection of a U.S. proposal for a standstill agreement between Seoul and Tokyo, Kono reportedly said that it's not up to the foreign ministry to decide, but rather the trade ministry. With the heightened tension, South Korea's senior diplomat said that the issue of trade restrictions and the forced labor ruling has become harder to solve. The official also added that there is a need for a cool-down period to tamp down current tensions and to approach the issue more strategically. Asked if Minister Gang mentions Hull's mulling of a termination to its military information-sharing pact with Tokyo at the end of this month, the official said that Minister Kang told them that Seoul has no choice but to put every option on the table. The official then said in the three-week grace period before Japan's new trade restrictions take into effect, the South Korean government will closely watch Japan's moves while getting ready for the resumption of talks in the future. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News, Hong Kong.